for the Father has a huge over there that we that protects us from the nor'wester. So, but the farmers are cutting down the hedge all the time, so we had so we're going to have to plant another hedge just outside the borders of our property. But our only limit is the power lines, and we need to find out how tall the power lines is so we can plant trees that are going to grow shorter than the power lines. So we're going to use trigonometry to measure it. This is the measuring point, and we're going to measure up, and we'll measure the angle here, and then we want to figure this one out. If we can figure out the angle, and we can measure the adjacent, which is this side here, we can figure out the angle using a special tool that we have, and we can figure out this just with an ordinary tape measure. And we want to figure out the opposite side. First I'm going to put a peg directly under the power lines. So I've run a tape measure from the measuring point to the bottom of the power lines. It's attached to that peg that I just bumped in. And it's 22.35 metres. So I can write the adjacent side on my diagram. So we've put the angle, not the angle, the level here. To so to make sure we know where horizontal is because we couldn't measure measure the angle if we didn't know where horizontal is. But we have this digital level gauge with a sight to to measure the angle. So there we go. We have the angle. So now we can write the angle. So let's work out the trigonometry. So this equals six. This essentially equals six point. Two, but it's actually 6.198 But we still oh. So it was 6.2 metres So But so we've figured out the height of the, the 6.2 metres, but we still need to take into account the height of the measuring point. Whoops, I did the flex back to front, I sometimes do that. To account for the height of the measuring point, I, we're going to use the laser on this level. We're going to shoot it down towards the pole. Going to see, and we're going to measure how high the dot is from the ground, and we're up, and we're going to be careful not to be blinded by the dot as well. So here's the dot from the, oops, here's the dot from the laser. Now we're going to measure how high it is. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah, from the ground. One thousand and seven feet. So. The total height is 6.2 plus 1.07, 1 which is close enough to 7.3 to say that this is 7.3.
the sim three, the sim point three means it's going to be a bit rough. But we we're pretty sure it's seven point three meters, so it's safe for me to ask my dad to st st stand under the power line with a six point one meter with a six point one meter piece of wood. So I'll send him around to do that now. So I've got my dad holding up that 6.1 meter piece of wood. And we can see that that is clearly not 7.3 7.3 meters. Yeah. So I think it's about yeah half a meter short, so maybe 6.5 meters. Yeah. So 6.5 meters, and that makes things difficult because we're going to have to look at trees that are under 6.5 meters. So the tree that I'm going to recommend for my dad is the Pitosporum tenuifolium. That only grows to 6 meters and we have a maximum height of 6.5 meters. And it also sounds like a spell from Harry Potter. See you next week.